guys. So we're at a complete standstill on I-35 here, just north of Temple, Texas. Seems like a good time to give you the fly fishing report for April 21st, 2016. We're just sitting here, absolutely at a standstill on I-35, possibly the worst highway in the world, bar none. And uh, I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. You know, I just had to, I had to stop a couple times because the rain was so bad. Uh, and it's been bad for about a week off and on throughout the middle of Texas. And that's created a lot of flooding situations that uh, are carrying over and running down river. Whether it's the Brazos River, which I just crossed over in, uh, in Waco, or some other rivers I'll cross over here pretty soon. Um, it's bad and there's unique situations in fly fishing and fishing in general where now some of the lakes in up in north Texas around where I live north north and even west of Dallas Fort Worth are being closed down to boat traffic because of the, the extreme high water there uh, a really interesting situation that's going on right now is at Possum Kingdom Lake where they are having epic, no, we'll go biblical on this. They're having biblical water releases. And that means that uh, uh, we're looking at 20,000 CFS coming out the bottom of the dam at PK or Possum Kingdom. Radical. And that means that in a couple weeks when the things get shut in again, there's going to be a whole lot of hungry stripers below that dam. And we'll be there. We're going to go hit that. Otherwise, um, there's, uh, like I said, a lot of rain is causing a lot of problems. Um, you know, you got to stay tuned to the uh, Texas Flycaster website for the, the quickest updates. I won't be bringing you any video updates on YouTube like this one until, uh, until there's something to really report. Some fish to actually uh, talk about. And that's not happening because all this water, if you think about it in the big picture, it's going to the coast. Uh, it's unfortunate that Texas doesn't conserve more of the runoff and rainwater and water that, uh, from these floods, but they don't. Um, perhaps, though, if they did, that would be a problem because what I'm thinking is, is that this, all this fresh water and the salt water system is going to create a, a brackish situation where um, we might have a lot more tarpon. And uh, I'm don't tell anybody that but uh, I think what's gonna happen is if you base if you base habitat on the example of Florida and all the fresh water they have flowing in into inshore and near shore well that's what we've got this year so the tarpon migration upcoming and the uh, tarpon viability just continues to go up and up so that's something to look forward to in Texas uh, in the future and I think it's going to be highly likely that there's going to be a lot more tarpon this year on the coast than maybe ever than ever before but meanwhile we're stuck sitting here still on I-35 and uh, these rains that have hit the middle of Texas are doing two different things. Number one, they're kind of still like a train south to north, but then, strangely enough, they're holding together and going west to east. So unless you've been under a rock, you've seen the national news about Houston and what they're going through with their um, rains there. Biblical for sure, 12 inches in one day. I don't think they've had two days of that in the last five days, six days. So that's pretty tough. Um, otherwise, Stay tuned to Texas Flycaster. You know, we've got a tournament coming up at Lake Fork, Texas. It's the Bass on the Fly World Championships there. Um, there's no competitor to that, so they, they claim the prize for greatest title. And I hope to be getting over there a couple of times before um, the tournament to, to try that water out. I've got a little bit of information. And we're going to see how that works and see if we can keep from from going aground on the stumps that are hidden strategically all over that lake. Thanks for watching. 
As always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel or go to www.texasflycaster.com for more information there as well. Subscribe there. I have uh, premium content available there. And uh, you can get some insider information if you pay for that premium content like uh, hot spots, GPS coordinates, and things like that. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon, as soon as things get cranked up again. And they aren't cranking up too quickly here on I-35.